By now you must be growing familiar with our mantra, marketing is a toolkit which in the hands of a marketer creates value and that value resides in a brand. But you must be asking what has hidden gold got to do with brand value and small business? Well, there is a close connection. Marketing builds and creates value in a brand for many stakeholders, but most importantly for the brand's owner. We are now talking strictly of financial value, the asset value of a brand, an asset that can be bought and sold like a mobile phone or a tablet. Big brands like Coca-Cola are very valuable indeed. The interbrand organization put in 2017 a value of $185 billion for the Apple brand, $142 billion for the Google brand, and $70 billion for Coca-Cola. These are financial values ascribed to the brand, not the company, the brand. Not every brand is worth billions of dollars, of course. But the fundamental truth is that every brand has some value, big or small. Every big brand was once small, but they always had value. When Coke was starting out, it had value, not much in 1890, but some. So too every small business, the local restaurant, the pub, the bar, the hairdresser, all brands, all these brands have value. An important difference between big and small brands is that big business recognizes, measures, and deliberately grows the value of its brands. Small business does not. And here lies the opportunity if the brand has been created. The business exists, and it would not exist unless the brand had been established and containing value. The value is there. It can be recognized, but it isn't. It can be measured, but it isn't. It can be built, but it isn't. Your local bar could grasp the opportunity. Your Chinese, Indian, Thai restaurant could do it. Your local medical practice, any established business could do it. The gold under the floorboards can be exposed, excavated and grown. Join me in the next Masterclass.